hi children come we'll see the next chapter materials okay materials our fourth chapter in this chapter we are going to learn about what are all the types of materials what is their strength transparency and flexibility okay so these things we are going to learn in this chapter okay come we'll see see here so many objects are there so, okay see here children see here so many objects are there jug is there water towel is there okay razor is there table is there water yeah okay cap winter cap is there okay sack is there plate is there what mug is there okay so many things are there we know all these things are made of some kind of material okay we know all the things are made of some kind of materials look here all things are made of some kind of material they can be big or small light or heavy hard or soft rough or smooth shiny or dull the features of an object depend on the material it is made up of okay so it depends on whether it is a rough or soft hard or soft rough or smooth shiny or dull so it depends upon the depends upon the material okay light or heavy okay if you take a water steel tumbler and if you take a what paper tumbler paper glass plastic glass or paper glass if you take you may observe the weight of that glasses the glass made of steel is water heavy in weight compared to the glass made of plastic or a paper no so it depends on the material okay of what it is made up of okay understood children so the features of an object depends on the material it is made up of okay see materials are of different types okay clay wood cotton wool rubber metal petroleum glass and plastic or some materials so this are all some of the materials so many materials are there or so many types are there okay clay wood cotton wool rubber metal petroleum glass and plastic or some materials materials can be natural or man made okay it can be naturally available okay it may be available on the earth okay so those type of materials are natural materials the materials the which man made by which are all by man or made by man are called man made materials okay materials that we get from the earth plants or animals or natural materials okay materials that we get from the earth plants and animals are called natural materials materials that are made in factories using using natural materials or man made materials okay man made materials we can't able to make up okay without anything so these are all made by natural materials materials so using natural materials in what in factories man made materials are made okay so the materials that are made in factories using natural materials are man made materials okay understood children come we'll see about natural materials okay some of natural materials we will see so the materials that we get from the earth from plants and animals are called natural materials see plants give us wood flowers of cotton plant give us cotton rubber is made from the juice of rubber plant we also get jute fiber and gum from plants so the materials what we get from the plants are called also called natural materials what we get from plant wood see here the logs and all this make a, this the what wood we can use it to make a table to make a chair to make a door to make a window to make a sofa to make cupboards so to make all those things what we need material so here what we are using wood so wood is a natural material that we get from plants okay see the co what cotton cloths uh, that we know we are wearing you no know, cotton cloths in summer so that we get from what what is the material to what uh, to manufacture that uh, sweater and all or oh, i mean dresses and all okay that is we get the cotton from what cotton plant 
this is the cotton plant, we get the cotton from the cotton plant. Okay. So, the material where we are getting from the plant. So, the flowers of cotton plant, this is nothing but a flower of a cotton plant. So, we are using that the for maple what? For cloths, to make cloths, okay. And even the juice of a rubber plant, this is a rubber plant, the juice of the rubber plant is used to make rubber, okay. And also we get what jute fiber and gum from plants, gum we are using, no, we get it from where? From the plants. So, these are all what? Natural materials. And if you take animals, see here animals give us silk, wool and leather. Okay. And also we may use, we can use the water, even what? Yeah, we can, animal give us silk, wool and leather. How come we will see that? See, the animals do not directly give us silk, wool and leather. We are using the body parts of the animal. Okay. And also, okay, we use that body parts of the animal to use, to prepare this wool, silk, wool and leather. We get silk from the cocoons of the silkworms, okay. So, from the cocoons of the silkworm, you, what? We get silk. The hair of the sheep, goats, yaks and camel is used as wool, okay. The hair, even see, what? The fur of the, what? The sheep, the rabbit, which, which lives in what? Golden region, no? What? The fur also, what? Used for? to make to wool okay we can get sweaters like that or okay sweaters and all are manufactured using this hair and fur of the sheep goats ox and camels so it's not giving directly we cannot get the okay so from we are taking the hair and fur of the sheep goats ox and camels and we make we get the wool from it okay we prepare manufacture the wool by so many process okay skin of dead buffaloes camels snakes and crocodiles is used to make leather to make leather we use the skin of the dead buffaloes camels snakes and crocodiles okay so in this way animal give us silk wool and leather we are using their skin we are using their hairs like that we are using their things in their body to prepare to manufacture these things leather wool and all ok. Using this leather we can prepare water, we can make belt, handbag, shoes and all ok and as to children. When so many animals are water killed by the persons, by the men ok, by the people to get the skin ok. So, we should avoid that ok. Understood children. So, skin of dead buffaloes, camels, snakes and crocodile is used to make leather. In this way we also the materials we also get materials from the animals. These are all also natural materials. See like a silk worm or cocoon Look here, from this we get the silk. The sheep with wool, see the sheep is having the fur of the, the hair of the sheep, okay, which gives wool to us. Skin to make leather, okay. See here, the skin of a tiger or a lion or a water, buffalo, camel, we are using it to make about leather. And also, earth gives us clay, sand, metals, coal and petroleum. Metals like iron, copper and aluminum are most commonly used. So, clay, sand, metals, coal and petroleum, okay, these are all, we can get it from the earth, okay. Metals like iron, copper and aluminum are mostly commonly used to make water vessels and all, to make tools and all, we use aluminum, copper tools, iron tools, no, understood. So, in this way we can get the material from the earth also. So, these are all called natural materials. See here we get the clay, ore, petroleum and all okay, from the earth. So, we saw that in our last chapter, no, 
soil we know about clay where we get from it it is in the, it is the one form of soil one type of soil clay that uh, ore and all that we saw in our last chapter no so these are all we get it from the earth plus to children so these are natural materials come we will see the man made materials okay we make glass cloth paper plastic etc out of raw materials that we get from plants and earth so the raw materials that is the main material to prepare all these things are called raw materials okay so we make glass cloth paper plastic like that see cloth cotton cloth water the raw material what is the raw material for water cloth cotton okay so we make glass cloth the soil we need to make glass no so we make all these things out of raw material that we get from plants and earth okay the pulp of bamboo tree is used to in making paper sand is used in making glass limestone is making cement we made plastic from petroleum we make plastic from petroleum so in this way what yeah we can make what all these things man made materials using the raw materials that we obtain from plants and earth so the pulp of bamboo tree okay is used in making paper okay sand is used in making glass limestone is used in making cement we make plastic from petroleum this to children so we need even though we make it by us okay even though these things are made by people we need the raw materials from plants and animals okay so to make uh, some what things uh, to make some objects what material we should use that we will see now the material used to make a certain object depends on the properties of the material so it depends on the properties of the material so that we can do what make that certain object okay the first material used by man was clay he molded it into a pot okay so the first which is the first material used by man that is nothing but the clay okay he molded it clay that you know no yeah okay he molded it into a pot so when it became dry and hard he used it for storing water and cooking clay is hard and strong but breaks easily okay we know about clay no children it is okay it gave when it gave, gets dry what will happen it will become hard okay and strong okay but it breaks easily wood is light strong and hard so it can be used in making furniture boards and building houses etc so we can use wood to what make furnitures like what yeah table chair cot like that okay and we can use it for even for to make boats okay, since it is what light in weight if it is heavy in what weight means what will happen it will go inside the water no so we can use what wood to make boards and we can use wood for building houses to make doors to make water windows and all we use wood okay cotton is soft and flexible okay we spin threads and we weave cloth with cotton cotton is soft and flexible okay so we can spin threads from cotton and weave cloth with cotton so that we can make cotton cloths okay it will be very comfortable for our summer wear okay understood children rubber is soft and easily stretched it is used in making tires tubes okay balloons and erasers jute fiber is strong and is woven into ropes mats and bags okay See nowadays we are using jute bags no to avoid plastics, okay. So rubber why? Because what? It's a natural material, okay. So rubber is soft and easily stretched. What we can what make? We can make tires, okay. Tubes like this what tubes, tires, balloons and erasers, okay. Understood, children. And jute fiber is strong and is woven into ropes, mats, and bags, jute bags, and all that you know, no, that you will carry for a, or what you will use it as a lunch bag, no. 
Now we will go to next page. Silk fiber. Okay. Silk fiber is used in making silk cloth. Silk is what? Expensive. Okay. Why? Because of what? We are getting it from the cocoon of the silk worm, no? So, that is why the silk is very expensive. The process is very difficult to get make the silk from the silk cocoon. Okay. So, it is very costly. Caps, sweaters and blankets are made out of wool. Okay. Caps, sweaters and blankets are made out of wool. Okay. Understood children, if you take sweaters, blankets and all, it is made up of wool of what? Camel, rabbit, yak, buffaloes like that. Okay. Leather is durable. We make shoes, belts, wallets, bags, etc. from it. Okay. Look here, using that leather. Okay, that which is the which is we are getting from the skin of the water, crocodile, like that. No, we are getting what leather, so the skin of buffaloes, camels, crocodiles. Okay, that we use the at water that we use it to prepare manufacture leather. Okay, leather. So, leather is durable, we make shoes, bales, wallets, packs, etc. from it. Okay. Metals are heavy, strong and hard. They can be heated and molded into different shapes too. Different metals are used in make making tools, utensils, grills, engines and bodies of vehicles. Okay. Metals can be made into thin threads and used as electric wires, copper and all we can make it into thin threads okay, and we can use it as electric wires. Okay. Metal shine brightly. Gold and silver are used in making jewellery. Okay. Since we are getting not that much enough amount of water, gold and silver material from the that we get from the earth. No? Since we, we are getting only limited amount of this gold and silver and also it has water. It is very shiny. We are using it as for oh, using it in jewellery. Okay. Using it in making jewellery. Okay. That is why it is very expensive. So, the cost of the material also depends on how, mu how much easily it can it is available in how much quantity. Okay, understood children. If it is easily av available and it is what uh, the quantity in uh, easily available in the quantity in greater quantity means the cost of it will be very less. If you take clay and all, okay, we can make pots uh, using clay and the cost of the pot is very less compared to iron pot or aluminium pot. Why? Because the clay material is easily available, no? So, the thing is what? The material, the cost of the material also depends on the availability of it, okay? Understood children? So, the metals are heavy, strong and hard, okay? That we know, okay? The iron, copper, like that, this aluminium, these are all heavy and strong. They can be heated and molded into different shapes like this we can make water heated and molded okay by heating we can melt it like that and we can mold it okay in different shapes different metals are used in making tools like iron and all we have, can use it to make tools like this screw screws and all like that okay making tools utensils grills engines and bodies of vehicles okay glass is hard and transparent see if you take glass it is very hard and transparent it can be molded into different shapes okay it is it can be mold by heating it we can melt it and we can be molded into many shapes okay but it breaks easily it is used for making window pans bulbs lamp shades tv screens etc okay we can use it to make window pans lamps okay Okay, understood children, we can use the glass, so that so many people are not go preferring glass things. Okay, why? Because it breaks easily, even though it is water, harder and transparent, that means we can see through a, what is the meaning of transparent? We can see anything through the glass panel, okay, understood, we can see the things which is on the other side of the glass panel, okay. That is why we are using what instead of what? Wood and all, we are using glass for windows. Okay. 
Look here children, see this glass, see it is very hard even though it is hard and transparent. Transparent means what, what? We can see the things which is on the other side of the glass, okay. See this is of water, glass material, okay. This glass is made of glass material, okay. What is true? See this is a piece of wood, okay. It is very light in weight and also strong and hard so that we can use it to make furnitures, okay. And this children and also we can what, build boats using this, okay. Understood. See the piece of wood is here, no? So, these are all different types of materials. So, if you take this uh, spoon, look at it, uh, you can know uh, you, this is made up of stainless steel, okay. Is it, this is a type of material, one type of material. And you can get uh, a spoon using a plastic spoon is there, okay. Like that so many silver spoon you can use, what a silver spoon, golden spoon, some uh, rich people will use gold spoon, like that. Depends on the material, we can make different utensils also, utensils of, okay. See this is rubber we, that we get from water, rubber, okay, rubber plant, okay. Like this we may make different types of materials using the water, using the raw materials, okay, which is of plants and that we get from plants and animals, just to children. And we will go to the next page. See a mixture of cement, sand and water becomes very hard and strong after drying, okay. A mixture of cement, sand and water. Cement is used in constructing buildings, okay. Petroleum is found as crude oil deep in the earth, okay. We can get crude oil which is we, from which we can get petroleum, okay. We get diesel, petrol, cooking gas, wax, Vaseline, tar okay etc from petroleum so from this petroleum we can what get diesel petrol cooking gas that we use not our home to cook uh, gas cylinders gas wax okay vaseline that you apply to make your skin moisturize no like that this we get it from petroleum which is found deep in the earth the petroleum okay and plastics are strong, flexible, light and highly durable. They can be used for making a huge water tank and also a thin plastic bag, bag okay. Plastics, see here water bottles I will show you, see this is the water bottle that is made up of plastic, okay. See, if you take your scale that is also made of plastic, see here plastic, okay. This is one type of material. Okay, these are all strong, flexible and light and highly durable. Okay, they can be used for making a, that means what, it is strong, flexible, we can extend it into any shape, okay, we can make it into any shape and also highly durable, okay, they can be used for making a huge water tank and also a thin plastic bag, buckets, ropes, toys, bodies of televisions, parts of vehicles and many more things are made up of plastics, okay, look here. So many things, okay, which is made up of plastic, okay. Plastic ball, if you take this, this is a plastic ball, okay. Since it is flexible, we can make it uh, any shape, okay, and highly durable, okay. When we throw away things made of natural materials after using them, they rot and soon mix with the soil, okay. When we use it, okay, when we throw away the things, made of natural materials. If you take a pot, if we use it and we will throw it after some some use, okay. If it breaks, what will happen after some time it will get raw water, it will mix with the soil, okay. Understood. So, but plastic does not rot, okay. It remains in the soil for a long time and it pollutes it, okay. Therefore, using plastic ba bags and bottles is dangerous, okay. Why? Children? Why? Because it won't get rot, it won't mix the, with the soil. What will happen? So, if you keep on throwing all the plastics in future, what will happen? You can only see the plastic things on, all over us, okay, all around us. Understood, children? So what will happen due to this plastic, sir? The plant won't grow. If it, uh, the entire earth is covered by plastic, means how the plants will grow from that? Uh, Okay, since the plastic won't allow the water to enter into the soil, no, what will happen? How the plant will grow? 
deep inside the what how the roots will go deep inside the soil what will happen so we should not throw okay we should minimize the use of plastic okay we should use instead of using plastic we should use jute materials okay plastic bags and all we can use water jute uh, uh, what lunch bag, bags made up of jute and we can use stainless steel what boxes and all ok understood children so try to minimize plastic using plastic ok understood, understood? 